This looks just about right and here I have a homemade pit oven and it's possibly the only one in this whole neighbourhood. So once the stones get nice and hot, I'm going to stick a whole uh, lamb shoulder into this and then we're going to cook it for about 4 hours. Hi, I'm Kelvin Tan and I like to cook beyond college doors and I believe in uh, being green in the kitchen and there's nothing better in you know, cooking outdoors and going back to basics than uh, pit cooking. Pit cooking is basically cooking underground. It is very basic and predated. I find it very interesting because it is a tradition practiced in many countries, especially in Asia. So the great thing about pit cooking is that it saves energy and it retains a lot of taste, flavour and goodness of the food. So last week my friends and I decided to experiment by digging a hole in the garden of this typical Link terrace house. First we dug a hole about half a metre deep and started a coal fire at the bottom. We placed small pieces of rocks on the fire to heat them up. The rocks helped to distribute and dissipate heat. Our first experiment was with a proof and reason cheese loaf. Although it was a little burnt underneath, the loaf tasted really good. A lesson learned, the pan must never be in direct contact with the burning coal. I prepared this whole lamb shoulder by rubbing on it a mixture of salt, thyme and rosemary. Thyme and rosemary are really good combinations when cooking with lamb. I left it aside for an hour before washing off all the salt. I patted it dry and now I've rubbed it with olive oil. So our pit oven is ready, and if we put two bricks here to prevent the pan from uh, being in direct heat with the coals, or else the, the lamb will burn. So now I'm going to leave it here and let it cook for four hours, and I'm just going to kick back and relax. Okay, finally it's been four hours. It's time to check my lamb. Okay, so it's been four hours and it looks great and I think it's ready. So we're gonna make um, a burrito with the lamb shoulder. I'm gonna toast the burrito. Okay, this tortilla wrap looks just about right, so I'm going to make my burrito now. Okay, so we have the lamb here, it smells good. I'm going to make a burrito. Basically, a burrito is like, uh, it's like a Mexican spring roll or a Mexican popia. Here I have some salad, pickles of um, cucumber, carrots and onions. Got my lamb here, got some homemade yogurt here. Got some uh, Chinese lettuce leaves. So I'm going to cut the lamb and make my burrito. Okay, a bit of taste. Looks like my experiment paid off. It's very, very good. So I'm gonna make my burrito now. Got my lamb here. And then I got the pickles here. Just a bit. Some Chinese lettuce. For a bit of crunch. And then the homemade yogurt. Then I'm gonna roll it up and make my burrito, lamb burrito. It's seriously good stuff. And I can honestly say it's one of the best burritos I've, I've ever eaten. But don't take my word for it, go try it yourself. Looks like my little experiment paid off my pit oven. This is lamb shoulder, I'm going to try it with uh, chicken, maybe beef and I'm really looking forward to it because it tastes really really good. Really looking forward, good stuff, good stuff.